Hi guys, so today we are going to be um, doing a wedding DIY for part of my wedding craft series. Now these are going to be um, an example of some bridesmaid hangers or bride hangers that you can do. Now I did buy a bride bridal hanger for myself um, just because I didn't want to have to make that. Um, but these ones are going to be for my bridesmaids. So the first thing that I have for supplies are... Um, a pack of these hangers now I got these at Walmart I think for five dollars and there's five of them in here and I thought that was pretty good they are wood and they're just painted over in white um, the next thing that I'm going to first use before I use any pen or anything is a pencil um, I have these sequins glitter stickers that I may use um, I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do I'm just going to kind of go with the flow I have these little charms that I'm going to try and incorporate into these hangers. Um, a couple bows. Now I might have one of these have one of these burlap and lace bows. I haven't decided. I have some lace just in case. Some burlap twine. Or not burlap but some twine. Um, and then some ribbon in my wedding color. Um, so those are all the supplies we're going to be using today. I also have a glue gun that's on right now. And um, as well as probably a Sharpie. Um, but first of all, I'm just going to kind of um, play around and see what exactly I'm going to do. So the first thing that I'm planning on doing is I'm just going to pencil in. I don't know if you can see, but the word bridesmaid. And then um, my girl's name right here. And then uh, once I know the specific date, it's going to be up on the other side here. Um, I'm just waiting on flight info and whatnot for that, but um, just the pencil I went over with that. Now I'm going to use a Sharpie. Now you want a fairly new Sharpie for this with a fine tip, so I have to actually reach up and get one. My hand's going to cover it for the most part. I'm just going to write over what I had. I just need something. There we go. You're going to want to take your time with this. So that's how mine kind of turned out. I'm going to touch it up a bit, but um, pretty much that's what you do in terms of writing it. And I'm just going to write my first one's name right here just to kind of get that over with. I'm just going to use regular letters, their names. So as you can see, I put her name there, and then that's his bridesmaid. I am going to need to touch it up, but that is kind of like the first step in all of these hangers that I'm going to do. So now I'm just going to take these rhinestones, um, and I'm going to add just two of the silver ones. One on each side of the bridesmaid word. Now I'm not having a maid of honor, I'm just having all bridesmaids. This is my sister, so I'm going to count her as my maid of honor. But, um, I kind of didn't want titles per se, so a separate title. There. So I kind of wanted to do something like... This. I don't know if you can see that. Let me just unzoom you. There we go. That probably looks like really bad, but 
it's trial and error. I can always buy more. So now what I did was I made this little tiny bow um, instead of, um, what's it called? Tying it around there just because it moves a lot. I'm going to hot glue this to the hanger instead, just the back of it. I wasn't able to get this little charm on just because I, I guess I couldn't. I'm going to try to open it up and then just hang it on the very top right here afterwards. Um, yeah, so take your hot glue gun and put a tiny little amount of hot glue on the back of your bow because you don't need that much. And it just, it does dry quick, so please place it ASAP. Yeah. So try to place it quickly onto your hanger. I'm just going to zoom out. I should have done. But I'm just going to take it off. And I only had black hot glue lying around, so it's my fault. But I have an idea now, which will work out pretty great, I hope. So I'm going to place the little charm into the, the hot glue behind the bow while it's drying. And I'm going to hold it down um, for about 15 seconds just to be sure. I do not want this to come undone. Yeah, so as you can see, sorry my camera, my tripod's being messed up but... As you can see, there is the the word, the bow I made. It's a double bow. Um, the stems are a little bit too short, but I think it's cute that I got. And then, of course, I have my little charm underneath there. So I'm just going to continue um, fixing out my words. The date will end up going here. And then I'm going to make a couple more and see if I get any other um, ideas for these hangers. There we go. So I wrote her name Donna. It's just here and I'm going to add a bow to it as well. Um, for her I was thinking more along the lines of, of the burlap and lace. Oh good, I got it off. Um, but I'd have to glue it right up at the top here. Which I think would be fine. Um, or I can make her one just like the girls. Because yeah, this white one here is too lacy. Um, and do I want to use a charm? I probably won't for hers. I think I will just. I think I'll hot glue it to the hanger part here. Um, hmm. Right here. Yeah. So I'm just going to put some hot glue. Yeah, so this is what this one's looking like currently. I think it's cute. Um, once it dries, I'm going to fix the lace here a bit. Uh, it just needs to be pulled back down over top of the burlap. Yeah, and you can see a little bit of my black hot glue, but it's not bad as you're not going to really be looking at the back of the hanger. Um, yeah, so that's what this one looks like. And just in comparison, I have the two right here and I think they're actually turning out pretty damn nice. I might add some blue on hers right here though um, and these two little crystals just because she doesn't have 
the ribbon and the color. Yeah, so I think this looks nice. 